Hey, it's Kip here again. Um, I've been getting a lot of PMs about my cannons I fired off a couple of days ago, and um, I'm going to give you an up-close uh, visual on them, give you a better idea what they actually are. Keep in mind, they are extremely dangerous. I don't recommend anybody making these. This is just for informational use only. This is what I do. I don't recommend anybody else do what I do. Um, but I'm going to show you what I got, and uh, let me come over there and grab the camera real quick, and I'll give you an up-close personal look at everything I got going on here. Okay, first of all, I got two different cannons I've been using lately. Um, a couple years ago, we had several other different cannons. This here is what they consider, it's basically a thunder mug. Um, these are all salute cannons. I don't shoot any projectiles out of them or any other devices like that. Okay, to give you an idea of the size of these, this first one here, this one you haven't seen on video yet, but we have used these in the past, and this is what I call a thunder mug. And it's approximately, I'll give you a better view here, it's about 13 inches from the base, yeah, about 13 and a quarter inches from top to bottom. And then my full size cannon that you've seen in my video is 25 inches. And to give you an idea about the bore, if this helps you out at all, we're just, it's like an inch and seven eighths ID, and the outside you're looking at about two and a quarter. So, but on the inside of these, what I did, there's a local manufacturing shop that sells metals and stuff. This is a mild steel, but it's got a little more molly in it. Um, I don't know the exact number of the metals I used, but the uh, the outer casing is this pipe here. This is the main casing. But in the bottom, I would say the bottom, I think I remember, I think the bottom three inches, I added an extra sleeve on the interior. So basically what I ended up with is, um, basically I ended up with something that looks similar to that right there. And what I did with the uh, welder, I welded these together, put a nice bead all the way around there. And then on the base of each one, these are, uh, this plate here is, let me see here, this is uh, three by six, I believe. Three by seven. Anyways, that's the solid plate steel. And then I took, I double beaded everything all the way around, and then I ran these little wings here. And, um, just to give it more structural strength on the, on the longer cannon. Um, the smaller one here, it basically is the same concept, except it's just a smaller plate, it's still three quarter inch thick. And uh, that's double welded also. And like I said in the video, you've seen the video footage, I run, at first obviously during testing we ran 500 grains, we went to 800 grains, and now we're pushing up to 1500 grains. I will not go any further than that. The mount on the cannon is the mount on the cannon is basically a muffler clamp, so I want to make it so I can move it back and forth. But as you can see here, if you can see it, it actually slides during ignition. When this fires off, this actually moves. So I'm either going to tack weld it or something. I'm not sure. And then I just built a simple A-frame out of some round stock and some other gusseting for that. And uh, like I said, they're a lot of fun. This is just a brief information on how to build one. Um, like I said, it is extremely dangerous. I use between 15 to 30 second fuse. Fuse is cheap. And uh, on each one right at the very base, I drilled an um, eighth inch hole. And that's your uh, where you put your fuse in. You put your fuse in first. I'm not gonna load one right now, but maybe in a future video, you put the fuse in first. I pour the powder in and I just use paper towel for um, packing. I'll put a lot of probably one sheet dry and the next sheet I'll make it damp and I'll plunge it in with a stick or something. Actually I got a broomstick that's cut off and that's how I use it. So just to give you a little bit more information on how it's built, um, you don't have to build one as big. To, you know this one just got a lot deeper tone. The video doesn't do any justice to how loud this thing really is. Um, we've had reports of over a half mile to three quarters of a mile away of people actually having their windows vibrate and stuff. So, good thing I kind of know the police department around here. They're pretty decent as long as we keep it during the daylight. We don't, they don't have much of a problem. So 
I just wanted to share that with you guys. Hey guys, thanks for watching again. Um, I got some tactical tiki torches I'm working on. Yeah, you heard me, tactical tiki torches. But I appreciate you guys checking out my cannon. We got lots more to come, and uh, check it out. I think you'll like that, won't you? Yeah, we got some pretty good videos coming up. Just stay tuned.